okay, well, we might as well just go all the way. We're, let's just ruin his order. We already ruined it enough. He's like, I taste ashes. <laughs> we can give you rubber. <laughs> We're back stepping into the wild world of Papa and more specifically his pizzerias and he's got a lot more jobs. I'm very interested in the lore about these games and the fact that he's just a terrible man. From last episode, guys, check it out. If you missed it, we played Papa's Pizzeria for the first time. I don't plan on beating the games just because like, I think half of them, there's no ending. At least with Papa Pizzeria, there's no ending. But uh, Jim Ninja said, I honestly never thought about it when I was younger, but Papa Pizza really was a trash boss. He really does ditch people to run his business and let's not get all the people he got in debt to him and forcing them to work at different locations it takes all the credit he's awful man <laughs> and also another really interesting comment but uh, uh but the lore of this game series is seriously impressive there's so much more that i genuinely don't know where to start but there's interdimensional travel <laughs> Oh my God, Papa's got the infinity stones. So I thought that Papa's Pizzeria was the first game. Boy, was I wrong. That is the smallest screen. Like, here, okay, I, it's gonna be bigger, but like, it's so small for me. Welcome to Papa Louie's When Pizzas Attack. Apparently this is the very first game Papa appears in and uh, it actually does play into, uh, you know, the, the series. And it turns out, yeah, uh, Pizzeria is the second game in the series and you'll see why in a minute. So we actually have an intro here. So we get to learn more about the lore. Free pizza for every tenant today only. Okay, so he's a little generous. <laughs> he's like, he looks so sad. Uh, so he did make the pizzas. Yeah, we find out he just ditched them, right? The question is, what does he do? Oh my God, where's he sourcing his ingredients from? <laughs> Oh my god, what is going on in here? Aurora Borealis? Oh, it is! <laughs> okay, here's the interdimensional travel I think you were referring to. Training stage, learn the basics. It's just a side-scrolling game. Oh god. Wow, that pizza box transported us to the multi-grain fields. Try to find those pizza monsters. Wait, so we're bringing him with us too? Yeah, he's the main character we play as in the second one, right? Oh my god. <laughs> It's Papa's Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so Papa gets transported to a different land. So this is the Mario. I mean, it's kind of, is he Italian? I'm assuming he is, and we don't really know for sure. <laughs> Press Z to swing. <laughs> this is so stupid. So this is where it all began. Nice! Bro, seriously, where is he getting his ingredients from the underworld? Why does he do this? So yeah, I mean, I just wanted to at least see the intro to this because um, I checked and there's like, there is an ending and I guess I could show it, but it's very brief. And there was no ending pretty much to the first game. That's why I didn't want to do it. Oh my God. This was Pizza Tower before Pizza Tower. Look, at it, it's like the very similar monster. <laughs> uh, just genuine question. Has anyone actually played this game? Uh, Pepper Bomb? Oh, he's got nades. Ah, okay. So we got to collect the pizzas, I see. I think there's even boss battles. <laughs> it's so freaking weird. Ah, how the games have evolved. I think there's even a sequel to this game as well. Oh, it's one of the customers. Why did they get trapped too? What is he doing? What's this? I forgot that guy's name. I think he's in the first. Uh, the... Oh, they're back. Thanks for visiting Papa's Pizza. Thanks for saving me. I'm Crushita Pepperman, or Pepper Salesman. A red Pepperman. By the way, when you collect coins, bring them to me and to buy more pepper bombs. Why is he selling bombs? What is wrong with this game? Just come to your pizza parlor and talk to me to buy more pepper. Only 10 coins per shaker. Why is he allowed to sell bombs in your in your kitchen? He's running like the black market. Nice work back there. I've um got some bad news though. I just delivered those pizzas to every room in our building. There will be pizza monsters everywhere. Bad news. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of bad news. You know what? This, this is so stressful, okay? As a boss, this would be extremely st stressful. I can see why Papa just left and up and left. You're telling me this is the same universe where they got pizza monsters and interdimensional travel. And then we were just playing a game about serving customers. It, anything's possible. Our customers are probably trapped in cages too. Go check out all the rooms in the building and free the tenants. We're counting on you, Papa. <laughs> Papa John's, we're counting on you. Find out who's behind all of this. Why do I want to continue it though? But we made the pizzas. We're responsible for this. And once again, Papa's just not taking a single shred, an ounce of responsibility. Like, he's just like, wee, you're grinding. Like, you saved the day, Papa. No, he didn't. He cheaped out on the, on the ingredients and decided to buy them. 
I mean, probably cents on the dollar. He bought radioactive, like, cheese or something. This is a sandwich. We're, just, we're a pizza place. Like, I don't... We don't gotta worry about that. Like, they're all, thanks for saving the day, not even mentioning that he's the one that caused it. Is that an onion or a pumpkin? I can't tell. Oh, they're dead now. Seriously, I, it's actually really funny how similar they are to Pizza Face. <laughs> I guess I should be collecting these coins or something like that. I'm about to die, though. What happens if Papa dies anyway? Oh, there's two of my customers there. And you know the stupid thing is that they're gonna come back. We found out Papa's Pizzeria. If you can just mess up their order, absolutely, like, just demolish their, their pizza and it, not even cook it and they'll still come back they're the stupid ones this happened to them they got transported to wheat fields like whoever knows where that's at they got put in a cage and you know what they thought mm, that pizza was good let's go back their shape of their bodies are just so weird to me this is my favorite zelda game what is this wow oh i got the bonus I, I didn't know there were special collectibles why does he have his logo out here isn't that the weirdest thing how did this stuff get out here why does he own multiple blimps I'm telling you, it's very shady stuff going on here. Oh, I see the secret over here. You think I wasn't going to find this? Look at this. Bro, he runs like Mario. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it all along. Ah, you didn't expect that. Oh, no, no. No, Papa, no. He's just integrated. Oh, no. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, okay, he's not going to turn around, right? No, I'm out of nades. Dang it. Okay, all right. We're going to use our platforming skills to get through this. Okay, I only got two pizzas. I don't even care. Do I have to, do I have to get them all? You can't... Wait, why can't you progress anymore? Wait, who, why do... You have to... Oh, because you're not heavy enough? Papa, quick, just eat the pizzas. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was kind of sweating there. There, I I endangered you, and then I saved you. Come back to my pizza place, please. The customers aren't even quite... They're not even really happy. They just kind of jump. That doesn't really say that they're happy, though. It's also ad breaking and entering to the list of his crimes. Every time we should play these games, we should keep a list of his crimes. Breaking, entering, using, uh, I'm sure, banned ingredients. Honestly, the really the reason I'm still playing is because I want to see if there's a boss battle at the end of it, like each floor. This is like it's the opposite of Papa's Pizza. It's like not better ingredients, <laughs> awful ingredients, terrible service. I'm gonna break in your house, Papa Louie. That's our main slogan right there. It gets the customers every time. They come back for whatever reason. <laughs> what are these Dragon Balls I'm finding? What is up with that? Oh, I think this is it. That's the last one. Nice. All right, we got the goods. You know what the you know what even the worst part about this? The customers don't even get any pizza. He takes them back to reuse them later. What? This is, this is all around terrible. Just another thing to add to the list. I can't wait to see what happens when he gets into the baking business. Because I think that's the second game, which I might play this episode. We'll see. Oh, there's no bot. You just keep going. That's it. So, I mean, I doubt you guys actually want to see me beat this game. So, I mean, basically the ending is he gets his pizza and he... Oh, he gave it back. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh, you sick person. You sick person. Don't give it to me. I don't want the pizza. I see what he's doing. He's trying to make you believe that he's an okay guy. He's not. He's not. Okay, well, according to this, Papa's Burgery is next. So, this is going to be good. Keep in mind, I'm probably, I mean, unless there's an actual ending, I don't think I'm going to finish the games. But maybe. I mean, it's, you guys need to tell me if I should. Oh, God. Okay, so he's now going into the burger industry. I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm going to name my restaurant. The reverse psychology will work on them. Oh, we get to pick. We get to pick now. Wait, why wouldn't I pick Papa Louie? Is there really no opening? There's not even, an, there's no opening cutscene? Or is it is because I picked Papa? Do we, we need to go back? Okay, Marty's lucky day. Okay, thank God I actually went back. <laughs> yeah, winner, meet here for the prize. Oh God, don't go there. Don't go there. I won something. Look, he looks <laughs> the same person. Okay. Oh wait, he went, he's like the Mr. Beast. He's giving him. Oh, but there's there's a, a stipulation here. You must work there. Why? He's like giving him this curse. <laughs> he's like Mr. Beast, but he's making them do all the work. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a little weird? It's like if someone just like, here, take this restaurant, but you better work there. Is he even getting paid? Did he just hire a slave? What just happened? Okay, let's go to the grill station here. This is a grill station. You cook and flip the burger patties here. Okay. This is the build station. You stack burgers and toppings here. 
<laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen images of people just have like 40 layers of mayo. We're going to do the same thing. <laughs> Look, we're going to have Papa regretting his decision to give us the golden ticket to slavery or whatever. Okay, well, let's make hers right. Okay, you'll copy down each customer's order into an order ticket. I know you guys think I can't follow orders. I'm just being stupid on purpose. Okay. Look at how good. I'll show you my, my burger skills. I used to work at a place that sold burgers. I didn't make them myself, but I sh I watched them do it. I'm like SpongeBob over here making patties. Okay, she wants it yellow. Um, oh, God. Okay, how? Wait. Don't move the burgers on the ground. Third training. Who's saying that? Papa? Burgers should be cooked evenly each side. For the best score, click on the burger to flip it. Okay, people order our patties. Wait, what do you want me to do? Uh, this is... Okay, it's going so fast. When a burger reaches the right cooking amount, drag it to the cook sta stack on them. Okay, so drag it. I guess it's good. We're good now. Build station. Burger. Cheese. Lettuce. Mustard. Bun. Oh, God. Oh, you can mess it up. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's bugging me. There's your receipt, ma'am. Take it. Not bad. Not bad. And we know, so we found out from <laughs> comments and stuff that the, the tips don't even go to him. It goes to Papa. It goes right into the restaurant. And I'm pretty sure Papa still actually owns this restaurant. So what? He just, we don't, <laughs> it's so wrong. Hi. Oh, it's closed now. We only have one customer. God, okay. All right. What does he want? He wants mayonnaise, lettuce. This is Wally. I like how the same customers go here. Well, how big is this town? I'm still not quite sure about the this part. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do it. Okay, we can flip it back. Thank God. Okay, so I think we need to wait until it's all the way down. God, this takes so long. Wait, what does the top percentage mean? I'm confused. Oh, it's black! <laughs> I thought I had to put the bar down there. Oh, no. That's like the overall doneness. Oh, no. Okay, well, we might as well just go all the way. We're, let's just ruin his order. We already ruined it enough. He's like, I taste ashes. Okay, I know I'm not helping my case about following directions. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is this even qualified to be a burger anymore? I don't think so. <laughs> we can get the rubber. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill people! <laughs> oh, you think McDonald's invented the Big Mac? No, they didn't. This is McDeath. I'm telling you, if you ever come to my restaurant, like, order this one. Order the McDeath. It'll be the best tasting burger you ever had. Why is the mayo broken? The mayo's broken. Do I need another bun? Trust me, it's specific. If you got one little tiny thing wrong with this burger, it won't be the same. Oh, why does it look like that? Genuinely, why does it look like that? That's not how mayo... Ugh. Why does it look like that? Knowing what we know now, there ain't no telling them where this mayo came from. This is worse than the, the, the patty they tried to use to kill, to kill the health inspector in SpongeBob. This is worse. Like, you need to play at the boat horn sound when you... <laughs> that wasn't a good horn sound. Trust me. It's three buns, 40 pieces of cheese, one onion, one lettuce, another bottom bun, 50 layers of mayo, bottom bun. Oh, wait. We're not done. I almost forgot the most important part. The hockey puck and the uh, 30 raw patties. Do I have to put a top bun? All right. <laughs> I think he's just going to die on the spot, honestly. I got a 41% on one. I can't even see his message. <laughs> they turn around. He's like, I'm really proud of what I did. Service quality, 55%. Building, building 48%. Grilling, 47 Waiting, 70%. So the waiting was good. That's the one thing you can say about this order. Oh, there's a cheeseria. Oh God, I, I, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in the zone here. I, I, I need to play more of these. I really do. Oh, <laughs> what burger poster? Eat if you can. It's on the house. That's not as good as my burger. Trust me. You want my burger? Oh, these timers are, actually seem useful. Alerts for rare burgers. Blue burgers. Oh God. Like, why isn't the health inspector shut us down after that debacle? I, I really don't know. I'm still a little confused on this uh, mechanic here. Oh, I. I see, I see. So you want the ratio to be right, I think. Something like that. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, I just want to see what happens. This is art. This is art. Got the mustard. <laughs> it's so stupid. I was in a hurry when I built it. Hey! Hey! Look it. You know how it is at restaurants, right? It never looks like it does on, on the menu. Same thing here. 
We like to keep it realistic. Okay, all right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Okay, Chuck. This he doesn't even look like Guy Fieri or whatever his name is. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you for the order, man. He wants a big boy burger. Oh, big ol' wumbo jumbo. He wants two patties here. What? Okay, kind of weird, but oh yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Well, I'll take anything. All right, I will begin cooking now. Okay, we just gotta put three patties on there. How hard can this be? First one. Okay, he wants it that way. This is hard. Okay, they all want it the same. Oh, he wants. Oh, I forgot one more patty. Okay, so just gotta make them all the same. How hard can it be? All right, here's some boigus. Right there. Right there. Perfect. My God, I'm so good at this game. Okay, so first one wants bun. Burger, pickle, no sauces, bold. He wants his burger dry as freak. Okay, Prudence. 72 points. 72 points, Prudence! Okay, barbecue sauce. Oh, he's getting the Western burger, I see. Ah, excellent choice. Yeah, this is so stupid. You gotta put it in the right order, too. It's kind of funny, like... I don't think a customer would even know the difference. Oh, double barbecue. Okay, there we go. I gotta say that looks kind of that looks kind of good. That's a perfect burger. Is it the waiting? It's the wait. It's the waiting, isn't it? All right, big boy Taylor, coming up. Here we go. Put it on. All right, that's not how I would have done it, but you know, there we go. That does okay, that does not look appetizing at all. Is there like a Wendy's? Like at Wendy's, you can get like a what do they call like the meat mountain? Oh no, that's Arby's. Arby's has the meat mountain on the secret menu. Our secret menu will kill you. Don't don't try it here. There, that's actually me trying. See, I can I can play. No, there's a. It's, I think it's Wendy's has like a 20 patty or like 10 patty burger. It sounds disgusting. Like seriously, why would you need that much meat? Oh, you can buy a pizzeria poster. Wow. <laughs> try them all. The sauces. Saucy. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what my customers really need to see. Yeah, right there. It's so stupid. <laughs> I got a curry! Yay! Oh god, what kind of order is she gonna want? <laughs> so stupid. I got this one like <laughs> random fresh! Yeah, they wouldn't think of, I mean I need to lie to them as much as possible. They don't need to know how uh, unfresh this actually is. Is there even an ending to this game? I don't know if it says. Like, there's no list like there was on the last game. These games are kind of long. Yeah, a lot of you guys are telling me, like, here, uh, I can't find the comment, but, but basically it says something like, um, like, you didn't understand the, the, the pain of having to, like, a five-star all the customers or something like that. And, yeah, no, I won't. Okay, Akari, you're about to have the worst day of your life. <laughs> what happens if we just, wait, can we just go to the bill stage? <laughs> What would you do if this happened? What? <laughs> Wasn't what you ordered at all, but the weight was spot on. Oh my god, I forgot my burgers! Ah, my god, there's so many! Order up, it's on the house. <laughs> but did she still take <laughs> This game is evil. Like, it's why are you able to do this? Now listen, if you saw someone get that sandwich, and you don't run out full sprint, you're stupid. I'll tell you what kept him in there is my fresh poster. <laughs> I don't even think a wild raccoon would eat this food out of a dumpster. <laughs> I don't, I really don't think so. Oh, you can touch the food and put it back. <laughs> What's cross contamination? Uh, never heard of it. Order up 10 black patties. Okay, Prudence, you're just being a little prude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it there. Uh, these games are so funny and so evil at the same time. Uh, smash like if you want to see me play some more of these. I just want to play for the lore and the story and just, I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.